Well, the Public Accounts Committee looking at the film industry have been sitting right outside the chamber where Dave Armstrong's been giving his uh, information. Also, your colleague Alistair from London joined us. Um, I don't know what really came out of it. It was interesting because I mean, you work in films, but you also work on the peripheral of, it, of the whole thing. Did you think you, know, you had anything to, to really say? And I know you're very passionate about the film industry, but, but how do you feel about it? Well, hopefully, hopefully my input has been about the positive future rather than just looking to the past. We learn from our mistakes, but this industry is too big to ignore. Mm -hmm. It's a serious industry, and Alistair made that point. We've got to take this industry seriously. It's, it's, it's extremely valuable to other jurisdictions, including to our closest neighbours, the UK, um, Great Britain, wherever, yeah. England, Ireland. And to ignore this sector is a huge mistake, in my, my personal but opinion. It hasn't the ship sailed. I mean, no, without being it, an well, I, mean, I mean, I use the analogy uh, that the trains train train station. Sta yeah. But, look, it's not going to stop tomorrow. It's not like the, the, the film industry has just gone, oh, we've got to, we've, yeah. we, we're full now, so nobody else can come on board. As Alistair was saying, and I think the discussions have been there, there is undercapacity or over, under capacity in the UK. They don't have, the studios are being built. Pinewood, is, Pinewood or Shepparton's yeah. got the Disney yeah, yeah, yeah. and all the rest Disney of it. Disney and Netflix, Leaders, all that, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. So there's a glut of productions we're in a golden age of television and film, okay, and okay. We, can, we can work within this industry. You remember last mm. time. We worked together on things, Dave. Yeah, we, 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 we saw these films being made, yeah, yeah, we were doing yeah, all sorts of things. Mm -hmm. But I didn't know, I ever get the impression that it was here today, gone tomorrow sort of mentality that to most that film but people that, that, who just go where the next special deals are. Basically. That's what we've got to look at. And part of, part, I think, part of our issue may have been that we didn't look at the longer term, mm. putting more money back into training, putting, reinvesting back into infrastructure mm -hmm. to making sure that we had the right offering rather than, as you say, possibly looking at one film after the other. And I think one year there was, wasn't it crazy, like 10 or something? Yeah, well, movies made they were queuing year. up to get yeah, in, yeah. but the deals were there, so I'm but saying the, the tax breaks were there, which the government in the UK then just... You know, they, yeah, they but, took it all back. but I think as Alistair as Alistair discussed within within the meeting, and, and we can't, we we don't have all of the answers. But there are ways to to, to look at this industry and work out how the Isle of Man can fit into it. Um, as I say, from from my interaction with the industry in general, they're all you know, either they've worked on the island, they know about the island, they know about the locations, about how easy it is to work here. Yeah, the, there's no um, infrastructure, is there, overall? There's no sound studios but, yet. And all those, I, I know you've been trying we're to at, look at if that. We're looking at, if we're looking at the future and if mm -hmm. we wanted to develop the industry again, that is something that will have to go hand in hand. We have to look at put, reinvesting back into what we have here, yeah. into local talent, to attracting obviously talent from off island because yeah. we don't have enough resources here but we can build on that we can look at our infrastructure look at our training and make that part of the industry and, and as I say look it's not like we would be the only jurisdiction in the world doing yeah. it everyone wants a part of this industry unfortunately the, it's hanging over that it's 20 something million, 20 something yeah, million I think, of look, losses it's, I, it's I, not good, I, is it? look I, I, I must admit I don't understand the full mechanism of that because that's not my speciality no. however i do know that in my head i separate out the individual film and the individual yeah. vehicle of a film investment from the overall benefits to a jurisdiction mm -hmm. do you think that every movie in the world makes money no. no but do you think it makes the say for instance the uk yeah. they probably haven't as i say from my discussions with possibly mark Helmode, he was talking about the allen's hit rate and success rate yeah. and it wasn't that much worse than anywhere else but, but we never had the breakout film we never i mean i don't think anything yeah, made money as such sorry, but we had a lot of good good films yeah but for every yeah, games of thrones film. is a popeye right i mean maybe Walter went crazy on that one I mean, it's gonna be the big big savior they're going to have a big theme yeah, park but, uh, and it but, crashed uh, but, no but as knows, i say but as i say we've got to separate out the the losses or profits okay. on individual films from the benefits to the well, island you were talking to us and also mm -hmm. months ago that mm -hmm. you were hopeful for the film industry and you were you were behind it have you got anywhere yet or is it still working we're progress? still working on pro this is this is what look we live in an age where everyone's impatient. These things have to happen today, or we've missed it and let's move on. But these things take time to develop. If we want to develop a, a substantial long-term infrastructure and film industry here, or movie industry, whatever we want to call it, media industry, then we have to be prepared to go in it for the long term, mm -hmm. look at a longer term strategy, and- Okay. Yes. Yeah, Isla Media, you went down to Cannes, all mm -hmm. that sort of thing. Is Isla Media where it's going now then? Is, is that where we pin our hopes? 
we have to have representation of our sector, of this sector, a very important sector on the island. It sometimes takes a lot of time to develop those relationships. We're very lucky within Island Media to have people that have the industry experience, who have the connections. I saw it for myself. The connections were almost every other person. Um, that they have, I suppose, a link back to our island. If we don't have a representation in the sector, if we really wanted to say, oh, we don't want to deal with any more, we'll, we'll rest on our laurels of the other sectors that we have that could be, as you say, the media sector can come and go. Other sectors can come and go. We can't go back to, oh, I don't know, are we going to reinvigorate other industries? I hope so. Manufacturing is important. We talked about manufacturing. But I think with the, the media sector, it is one of those sectors. It's not only good for an economy, it's sexy. Do you know what I mean? It sells them. You want to talk about blockchain? Yeah. Is that, does that excite you? I can see your eyes glazing over at the talk of blockchain. <laughs> but you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. The media sector has stars. It has, we're all surrounded oh, by it. So the train may have left the station, but we can still catch it at the next stop. We can catch the train. Going. We're already on the train. Go I'm on. a producer. Yeah. I'm a director. I live here. Okay, I'm not top of my game yet, <laughs> working on it, but I have projects I'm working on, I have partners, local partners and off-island partners I'm working with.